Hi, my name is Dominic Palazzolo and I'm the owner of MakeYourOwnMolds.com. I want you to know that you're starting this video right now and that this is the short version of a class where I'm going to teach you how to make sugar glassware like this wine glass right here. It's a short version for those of you who don't have the time for a class that can be an hour or maybe even longer. And what we've done is we've just segmented all the important facts together in a sequence so that you can quickly learn how to make sugar glassware like this. Now, we've also made a long version. And for those of you who want the total class with my comments, and my tips and tricks and basically you get a lot more information you can go to that class right now by just clicking right here in this area you'll just be immediately transported to the beginning of that video for those of you who want to remain and get the short version that'll be great now before we start I want you to know that we are going to show you how to make a wine glass out of sugar but we have available kits where you can also make beer glasses martini glasses uh, fluted champagne glassware and that is all available at our site at makeyourownmolds.com so anyway what I want you to do is sit back if you want to watch the short version just keep it right there and you will learn how to make a nice glass like this that you can actually pour into. It will hold a liquid. You can drink from it. And if you want, you can actually eat the glass like, like that. So you can see how fun this can be. You might want to work this into a lot of parties or for customers or whatever. So sit back and let me show you how to make this wonderful sugar glassware. To start the mold making process, we are going to use safety clay, which is a non-toxic, non-drying clay that we have sheeted to about one quarter of an inch thick. Take the wine glass and place the top of the glass down onto the safety clay, making sure the glass is centered. Using a needle tool, cut around the perimeter of the glass through the clay and remove the excess around the outside to reveal a perfectly sized clay lid, which we will use later. Wipe the top of the glass to remove any remaining clay residue. Fill the wine glass three quarters of the way full with granulated sugar. Now take the clay lid made previously and place it inside the glass on top of the granulated sugar. Using a needle tool or knife, Cut strips of safety clay and place inside the wine glass onto the outside edge of the clay lid. Continue to apply strips until the entire edge of the lid has been covered with a clay strip. Pinch the clay so that it attaches to the clay lid below it and to the inside of the wine glass. Now take your finger and press the clay so that it conforms to the inside of the wine glass and forms a tight seal. This ensures that the granulated sugar and clay lid will stay put during the mold making process. Continue to fill the wine glass with safety clay until it is slightly overfilled. Turn the wine glass on its side and trim the clay flush with the rim of the wine glass using a sharp knife. Now that the wine glass has been properly filled, it is very important to clean the glass with soap and water to remove any fingerprints, dirt, or clay residue. Failure to complete this step will result in blemishes to the finished product that comes out of the mold. Silicone plastique is a food grade silicone that comes in two parts, part A being blue and part B is white. Equal amounts of part A and B are mixed by hand until a uniform color is achieved. Silicone Plastic has a work time of 10 to 15 minutes and cures in an hour to an hour and a half. Once the Silicone Plastic has been thoroughly mixed, 
apply it to the top of the foot of the wine glass and shape it into a cone up the stem of the glass. The silicone plastic cone will serve to deflect air bubbles that will rise out of the copy flex when the mold is poured. Apply anchor dit about 1 16th of an inch thick to the top of the wine glass that has been filled flush with safety clay. Turn the wine glass upside down and press the top of the glass down onto the work surface so that the anchor dit smushes out the sides all around the perimeter of the glass. Using a clean towel or tissue, wipe the excess anchor dit away so that the edge of the glass is clean and free of any residue. It is very important that the wine glass be free of any fingerprints or remnants of anchor dit or safety clay. As we did previously, wash the entire glass with soap and water and dry with a clean cloth or tissue. Mark the inside of the two bit that comes with the wine glass kit one half of an inch higher than the height of the wine glass. This will serve as a pour line letting us know when we have filled it to the proper level. Center the two bit around the wine glass and apply a bead of hot glue around the outside bottom edge of the two bit. Allow the hot glue to cool completely. Take a strand of safety clay and wrap it around the outside bottom of the two bit and press it simultaneously into the two bit and down onto the work surface. Using your finger, press the safety clay so that it adheres tightly to both the two bit and the work surface. Repeat this step with a thicker strand of safety clay. Pre-measured amounts of CopyFlex liquid silicone are provided with each sugar glass kit. CopyFlex comes in two parts identified as part A, which is orange in color, and part B, which is white. Combine both parts A and B in a mixing container and mix thoroughly, scraping the sides and bottom to get a complete combination and a uniform color with no streaking. In order to ensure a complete mix, pour the CopyFlex liquid silicone into another container and mix again. This double mix method guarantees that the CopyFlex is thoroughly mixed and ready to pour. To pour the CopyFlex, allow it to drop slowly from a height of about 12 to 18 inches. Pour the CopyFlex dead center onto the glass and allow it to flow down the sides. Only pour enough copy flex to cover the bottom of the area inside the two bit. Wait a couple minutes to allow the copy flex to seat itself around the bottom of the glass. Then proceed to pour the rest of the copy flex to the pour line previously marked on the inside of the two bit. A shallow stir with a spatula helps to pop large bubbles that creep to the top. Placing a weight, like a large book, on top of the two bit helps to ensure that the CopyFlex does not leak from the bottom. CopyFlex cures in about five hours at 70 degrees. When cured, CopyFlex does not leave an imprint when pressed with your finger or the edge of a tool. To remove the two bit make a cut into one of the spiral lines on the side of the two bit then grab the edge of the tubit and tear it away from the cured CopyFlex silicone inside. Wipe the excess anchor dit and then lay the mold on its side. Using a ruler and marker, draw a line directly down the center of one side of the mold. Proceed drawing a line across the top and down the center of the other side of the mold. Accuracy at this stage is very important, so take your time to get it right. Using a very sharp knife, like the X-Acto knife shown here, cut the CopyFlex mold along the line previously created with a marker. 
it is important to keep the knife perpendicular to the mold. In other words, keep the blade straight up and do not allow the blade to slant in one direction or another. When cutting above the stem, make sure the knife blade is fully embedded and don't worry if the blade is not long enough to reach the stem. A second cut will be employed later. You will feel when you reach the foot of the glass as the copyflex silicone will become much shallower. Simply pull the blade out a bit and continue to follow the cut line. Turn the mold and continue to cut along the top of the mold. In actuality, you will be cutting along the bottom of the wine glass that is inside the mold. Turn the mold again and continue to cut down the center of the second long side. Remember to keep the knife blade straight up and perpendicular to the glass mold. Now take a longer knife like the paring knife shown and make deeper cuts through the mold where the X-Acto knife blade could not reach. It is very important to make sure that the tip of your knife is in constant contact with the glass and especially the stem on the downstroke of each cut. A linoleum knife available at any hardware store is especially useful when making this type of cut in the mold. Once all sides of the mold have been properly cut, separate the mold from the wine glass to expose each side of the newly made wine glass mold. Notice how the silicone plastic cone has become an integral part of the mold and is bonded seamlessly with the CopyFlex liquid silicone. Also notice how shiny the interior of the wine glass mold is. This just goes to show how important it is to clean the glass before making the mold, which ensures that chocolate or sugar castings coming out of this mold will have an attractive shine that will be very impressive to the eye. To make the unmolding of sugar and chocolate glassware easier, additional cuts are made in the glass mold that will increase flexibility. Make a complete cut through the bottom of the mold and cut halfway through the mold along the cavity that corresponds to the stem. These cuts give the mold much better release capabilities when unmolding delicate objects made from chocolate or sugar. Here is how the empty molds look once assembled with the slit tubet and bandits that are supplied with the wine glass kit. To make a sugar wine glass, fill the mold with clear cut isomalt that has been tempered to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour the isomalt in a thin stream to start and needle it down into the small hole in the bottom of the mold that represents the stem of the glass. Once this portion of the mold has been filled, increase the pour rate to fill the larger volume of the glass mold in a timely manner. After about 10 minutes, invert the mold and pour out the liquid core of isomalt. Keep the mold upside down until the isomalt stops flowing out and dribbles very slowly in thin strings. Square dowels are useful for holding the mold while it empties back into the filling container. Using a chef's torch, heat the back edge of a paring knife so that it is hot enough to cut sugar, but not red hot. Use the back of the knife to cut the sugar trimmings that have adhered to the mouth of the wine glass mold. This will make a clean edge and ultimately a more attractive glass. Before unmolding the sugar wine glass, feel the sugar inside the mold and make sure that it is rigid and not soft. Otherwise, the sugar glass may lose its shape when unmolded. To unmold, remove the bandits and the slit tubit from the wine glass mold. Lay the mold on its side and gently remove each mold half from the sugar wine glass. Take your time and flex the mold often to help create separation between the sugar glass and the silicone. Here you can see how well the sugar has been captured in the mold and how the shiny interior 
has created a shiny sugar wine glass. Continue to use the flexibility of the silicone mold to create separation in order to free the sugar wine glass completely from the mold. Whenever hot sugar is poured into a silicone mold, pitting will occur which appears as small bubbles on the surface. Personally, I feel that the bubbles communicate a sugar effect and do not detract from the piece. But, if you want to eliminate them, application of heat from a chef's torch will do the trick. To add a realistic finish to the sugar wine glass and develop an attractive lip that will also make it stronger, place the tops of the sugar wine glasses on a griddle that has been heated to about 250 degrees. It only takes a second or two to melt the sugar and form a perfect lip. My advice for storing isomalt and cooked sugar centerpieces is to place them in a plastic storage bin that also contains a properly sized food grade silica gel packet. Close the bin by placing the lid on tightly over a gasket made with multiple layers of plastic wrap and additionally seal around the lid with removable painter's tape. To purchase the wine glass mold making kit shown in this video or other kits that are available for making sugar martini, champagne, and beer glasses, go to makeyourownmolds.com and click on the link titled Mold Making Kits.